red oak, black oak, whatever it is. We're gonna see if we can get her down. Get some more dirt off and fill that hole back in. 
leave the dirt by the hole and then those guys can fill it in with a skid steer. It works out a little better for them. We got a little dirt for them. That's a hog right there. Barely grip it right there. chipper too quick the landing in front of the chipper just so the guys don't feel rushed people get rushed like usually is when mistakes happen so uh, just depending on the size of the tree put you know anywhere between three or four trees really depends on how far apart they are I don't want to do any extra tracking that I have to 44 miles of track it's quite a bit let me tell you there's some spots I tracked for a few miles, didn't even touch a tree. <sighs> My ankles hurt that day. I bet you my final drives were hot. No, I, I know they were hot, because I checked them, and they were really hot. Just so you guys know, I mean, this is a X822D Tiger Cat. I buy all Tiger Cat equipment because it's the best on the market. And it really is. For 30 years being in business, they very impressive on how they build stuff and how they listen. They listen to their customers on how they do stuff. Uh, you know, the cut enough customers get together and have complaints about something you know we try to tell them and i tell you what they listen they try to make us happy and just about like anything you can't make everyone happy but you can sure try and they do try uh that new 620 i got i thought from what i seen on the internet everyone was loving them the new 620H, the H series. And uh, I bought it. And I like it. There's a few things I don't like about it. Uh, I don't like the suicide doors. I wish I had the other doors on it. Just pretty much for the only reason is when you get up on the winch, you have to get out you have to get out of the cab and then shut the door and crawl up on the winch. Where the other machine, the C model, 610C, you open the door and you just crawl up on the winch. So it's not a big deal but it is I don't like it um, and then when I first got it the hydraulics were a little slow the grapple and some of the functions are a little slow and they probably could be turned up a little bit hopefully they can be turned up a little bit but what they're saying uh, not a day or two later I looked at the internet and uh, there's some bunch of guys complaining on there on how the 
H model hydraulics are, and I and a couple of them said really slow and, and just not real happy with them. And I thought, man, I hope mine speed up because they are slow, slower. The other thing I don't understand on it is it's a 45,000 pound machine and they put a 40,000 pound winch on it. That doesn't make sense to me for some reason. Um, they need to figure out a bigger winch for a bigger machine just in case you get stuck because when you're stuck it's not just the dead weight you're pulling you're pulling the suction of the mud or whatever and uh, honestly on that 620 that's the only thing a winch is going to be for most of the time is just getting yourself on stuff so i didn't understand that but the speed of the h is not doesn't seem as fast as my c and my c my 610 c when you grab a bundle that's too big that you you just can't pull it it'll raise the front end right off the ground and it could be me but in this h model the hydraulics in the back aren't strong enough to lift the front end right off the ground and they only weigh uh, 10,000 pound difference from the 610c to the 620h i think i believe the h is 45,000 pounds and my 610s like 36 35 so they're like 10,000 pounds apart and you figure with extra horsepower and stuff you'd still be able to lift yourself off the ground but it won't do it so i don't know what that's about but it is a really nice skitter the cab's really nice everything i mean it's don't get me wrong i'm happy with it there's just a few things that they changed over the years that i really like about it um just simple things like instead of taking a whole oil pan off to change your oil they put a little service oil two bolt service pa panel on there so you can change your oil easy um there's just a lot of things like that i really like uh just little things um when i was watching the h series video come out and they're talking there's a few things that i really liked about it i can't really think of them right now but overall it's a it's a really nice skitter they do a really good job so it's just the flavor i like some people don't like tiger cat so they buy deer or cat and that's fine but if you're going to talk to me about skitters or any kind of forestry equipment you're darn right you're gonna hear something tiger cat come out of my mouth because i buy it and run it myself i don't just buy it and put other people in it i don't just run it for other people i own it and maintenance it and run it so i at the end of the day i want equipment that will last i want equipment that will get the job done efficiently and i want equipment that my kid might be able to use in a few, you know, when he's old enough. I don't want to have to buy new stuff every couple of years. And the downtime, very little downtime on Tiger Cat. Everything's built really heavy. And anyone in the logging business knows if it's built, you, you're going to break it. Everything's going to break in the logging business. It's just how how many times is it gonna break or how soon is it gonna break? And I tell you what, this Tiger Cat stuff's built heavy. And it it shows it because it don't break very often. If anything about the Tiger Cats or any new equipment, it, it's not just Tiger Cats, any new equipment. It's all the sensors. You put sensors on everything, you're gonna have problems. Sensors are expensive from 200 to thousand dollars for a sensor to tell you whatever that you know your fuel i bought a sensor for the tiger cat skitter the other day my 610c needed a fuel sensor and that thing was 450 dollars for a sensor i couldn't believe it i bought it anyway but anytime for 450 bucks you can grab a lot of sticks out of the woods and check your fuel but it saves time you don't get crap in your tank I'm not cheap, but I do like all my stuff to work, so that's why I ordered it. But 
skidsters, loaders, everything. It's all that sensors, 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 sensors. And they cost you money and time. Yes, I can't stand them. I wish they'd take them off everything. I wish everything would go back to what it was like in the 80s. Everything mechanical, easy to fix. Throw a wrench at it. It'll bounce off the panel and fix it. Looks like we're going to track a while again. If there's any more trees, we're almost to the end. If there's any more trees, I'll turn you guys back on. Thanks for watching.